Hello. I'm getting ready to go out to the hoop house. I just got a package uh, yesterday and these are hoops, like little love tunnel hoops that I got because I want to try them out in the high tunnel to put another tunnel within the tunnel um, to see if it gets a little bit warmer. Right now it's 42 degrees inside the hoop house. I have a thermometer in there. I can check it from my phone. And I mean, sweater weather, <laughs> 42 degrees. That sounds amazing. And it's been so sunny these days. So sunny, but a little bit misleading because when it's sunny here at this time of the year, it's very cold. It means it's cold. The overcast days are typically the days where it's a little warmer. I am just uh, grabbing a few more things. I have this extra little thermometer. I can link it below what I use, but it's nice. I can check it on my phone. It really records the temperature just uh, throughout the day, which is nice. I can see how it changes. I have one in there already. I have another one in the garage closet. I just wanted to make sure that the temperature was um, what I thought it was because I have a lot of seedlings in there that I might take as well. I want to see what the difference is between just being in the high tunnel versus underneath this low tunnel that I'm going to put up with a greenhouse plastic over top of it. And I just want to get a comparison overnight, maybe over a couple of nights and just see what difference each of these covers make. I am going to get a hat. I think I'm also going to get the soil thermometer so I can see what temperature the ground is out there and put on my boots and I'll see you guys out there. So I've just been making it a habit to every time I come in the hoop house, just knock off all of the ice that's been building up on the walls. It's just the condensation that freezes there overnight. And it's a nice little like physical activity once I like wake up and get inside the hoop house just to um, get me in a, a good mindset for all the tasks that I'm gonna do. I kinda just like hanging out in the hoop house nowadays. It's pretty warm in there, or I mean decently warm, 42 degrees, and that's nice. It's nice just to be in the sun and spend that time there. I decided to clear out a bunch of these pots that I had filled with soil. It's just my attempt at having a little bit more of a heat sink. So the heat will be absorbed by that material, all that soil in those pots, and then hopefully be radiating out throughout the night. So just one more measure to, you know, make even the tiniest bit of difference maybe. But I thought I would um, use this space, this side of the greenhouse, it's on the north side, but it's getting all of the southern sun. So it's warming up the fastest. I think this will be the area that I plant up first. So here's where I'm gonna be putting the hoops that I just got. And this big container is just frozen in place. I'll move that later. I think I'm gonna do the hoops around it. Hopefully it thaws it out enough for me to move that pretty soon. Honestly, I was a little bit worried at this point, thinking that this thing wouldn't be flexible. These little pieces weren't bending any, but once you put everything together, I think it's like five of those fiberglass sticks connected together with four of those connected pieces, then it bends pretty easily into shape. And actually, I ended up really liking it. Although it's not so strong, like I don't know how it would do in a high wind area, but since it's within this high tunnel to begin with, it's not gonna be experiencing much weather. So I think I'm gonna be good with it. Here's what the first one looked like. And then I'm just gonna build a couple more to put a little row cover on top.
So I checked outside and this little shed, this mini shed that we have, it's a place where I store, I stored a lot of my fabrics. I stored like a cattle panel, I stored some shade fabric that I had. Um, and it's, as you can see, like feet of snow is covering it, covering that little doorway. So I had to shovel a decent amount out. And then once I got there, you know, I really should have checked to begin with, but I realized that it wasn't there. The piece that I wanted wasn't there anyways. It was of course in the bigger shed, which was already shoveled out, very easy to access. I did not need to go through all that work, but I suppose it's a workout. Honestly, it's fine. Uh, I don't mind the extra work being out in the sun. It was pretty nice. And this plastic that I'm putting, this greenhouse plastic, I got it on Amazon. I can link that as well um, in the description. It is pretty thick. It has an inside to it, so if you have a similar kind, just make sure you're putting that on the inside. It, I think it tries, I think it lets in all of the light and then tries to bounce back some of that, some of those UV or I don't know, infrared rays. It's, it's to try and keep heat better. Once it starts to get warmer, I'm definitely gonna swap this for maybe just like a fabric row cover that I have. Um, and then of course, once it really heats up, just no cover at all. But for now, this thick plastic is perfect. I'm hoping that it will heat up the soil underneath. I just wanna get a good idea of what the temperature is gonna be like over the next week or so until I do decide that I can plant in there. So I put up those hoops yesterday. It's 9.30 in the evening tonight, um, and I just wanted to show you like a full day's worth of that temperature data. So this is inside that little low tunnel within the hoop house. This is what the temperature looked like throughout the day. It had a low of 20.7 and a high of 57.4 Fahrenheit. That's what it was today compared to just within the hoop house in general, but outside of that little tunnel structure. Here is what the temperature looked for the day. So this had a low of 17.2 and a high of 46 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's, what was it? About a 10 degrees difference at the high. At the low, it's only about a three degrees increase. I am waiting for it to be um, like reliably in the mid 20s at least, hopefully a bit higher before I start planting out any of my, uh, even the cold hardy things like the ranunculus and anemone. Those are the first things that I'm thinking about putting out there. My brassicas as well, they're just small little seedlings now so they can wait. I'm not in too much of a rush to get them planted out there. Next week, we're going to have a couple of nights in the single digits, but I think after that, well, I'm hoping really, I'll keep an eye on the forecast. If it stays even like in the high teens, I think then I might still uh, go ahead and try putting some out there. I have noticed over like the past couple of nights, I guess I'll see uh, within this next week uh, if it, everything is reliable, all those temperatures are reliable. If the hoop house is like keeping heat in reliably, at least some amount of heat in, so that if it is in those teens or maybe low 20s at night, then it's um, above 25 within that little hoop cover. And then that's a good sign that I can plant out uh, safely. I might honestly just risk uh, a little bit of damage and plant things out a little bit early next week, but we'll see. I mean, things can definitely be grown on more in here. I'm not running out of space yet, so there's no real rush. Just my excitement that's wanting me to go and plant these things out. So that's all for now. I have also been planting up some new seedlings. I've been planting up some peppers and sweet peas. Um, I can talk about that in a later video. I can talk about the varieties that I'm choosing that do well in colder climates or that are more adapted to these northern climates. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to finish editing this video and then go to bed. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.